Hello everyone, I'm cruising along today in a Citation Excel. Got a couple hours to cruise as we're going home empty after dropping some passengers off. And I thought it might be interesting to talk about the temperature controller in this uh, Citation Excel. This is a, a big upgrade from the 500 series Citations. The light jets that uh, were kind of notorious for being uh, too warm in the cockpit when the cabin was comfortable. Uh, the Citation Excel addressed that with this uh, temperature controller, which gives much better uh, control over the temperature of the airflow coming into both the cockpit as well as the cabin. Uh, they can be manually adjusted and uh, individually monitored so that the temperature is always uh, pretty comfortable for both the cockpit and the cabin. The way this system works is we have a selector in the middle that uh, we can select either cockpit or cabin. And what we're doing with that selector is just displaying the temperature in Fahrenheit for either the cockpit or the cabin. Right now, we're showing that it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit in the cockpit. And uh, if I jump over to the cabin feature, we see that it is 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the cabin. If I move the selector to uh, the SEL, the select position, it will display what we are targeting for either the cockpit or the cabin. So let's say I select the cabin side selector. It says 72 degrees. And if I change the rheostat here, I can twist it a little bit in one direction or another. See, I move it a little bit cooler, it turns to 70 degrees. Of course, moving a little warmer, turns it to 73. Uh, so it's just like set, setting a, a thermostat in your home. You just select whatever temperature you want uh, for that zone. Something else that's very helpful to see with this system is uh, a temperature uh, sensor that is located in the supply lines. And uh, you can select the supply setting on the uh, selector and it will read off whatever temperature is coming through the air duct, whatever temperature is being supplied to that zone. So if I select supply for the cabin, we see that we have 247 degree air, so nice hot air coming in through those uh, air ducts in order to try to warm the cabin up. And uh, that is a, a mix of hot bleed air from the engines uh, mixed with uh, cool air from the air cycle machine. And uh, obviously with uh, more hot air, it would, it would make the temperature hotter and more cool air from the air cycle machine makes it cooler. We can use this uh, feature to diagnose if uh, we're actually getting cool air or warm air when we want it to be. So for example, right now we have warm air coming into the cabin and uh, let's say we, uh, we want to see why that is. We can see that we have 73 degrees selected and it's currently 71 degrees actually in the cabin. So uh, if we want to cool it off, let's say we we want to uh, select a temperature lower than 71 degrees. We'll make that all the way cold. We say we want it to be 66 degrees in the cabin. And it is currently 71 degrees. That means we need cool air to come in. Now if I go back down to the supply selector, we're going to see the temperature starts dropping because the mixing valves are changing position. And uh, as the uh, hot bleed air is reduced or shut off entirely, uh, and uh, more cool air from the ACM is introduced into the air ducts, that temperature will get colder and colder until uh, you'll see that it's probably in the 40s or 50s and uh, does a nice job of cooling down the cabin. When we're talking about the uh, sensors that are in each zone, what we're really talking about is a little box on the wall of whatever zone we're referring to. Here in the cockpit, the, the sensor is mounted on the uh, outside wall of the aircraft uh, just aft of the co-pilot seat. This is right behind my seat right now. And uh, in the passenger cabin, we have another little box like this that uh, is located on the pilot side wall uh, towards the rear of the passenger cabin. And uh, that uh, contains a sensor which will uh, measure the current temperature in that zone. So uh, when you're reading the uh, 
the uh, indicated temperature on the controller, it's drawing that information from this little box here. The reason that's important to know is that if this little box gets uh, blocked, if you stuff a, a winter jacket around it or pile a bunch of paperwork around it or whatever, and there's not good airflow uh, through this box, uh, you won't get an accurate temperature and therefore it will kind of goof up all the automatic settings in the system and it might make the zone considerably warmer or colder than what you're intending because it's, it's constantly trying to keep up and uh, set the temperature by blowing hot or cold air into the zone and uh, it's never detecting that because of stuff piled around the sensor. One last point I'd like to note is that this system of regulating temperature in each zone it's really all dependent on bleed air. So uh, as long as you have bleed air available, this system is gonna be working. So uh, what that means is that obviously in flight, we can adjust the temperature and uh, also on the ground with the APU running, the auxiliary power unit, as long as we have the bleed air valve open on the APU, uh, supplying bleed air to the aircraft, uh, this system will work great. So if we wanna uh, cool the cabin down in the summer, or warm it up in the winter using the APU, we can do that through this temperature controller. Uh, it's a really nice upgrade compared to lighter aircraft without a, a system like this.